Can you please tell us what this movie is about and who you play in it? So I play Sarah, who is a very together uh, young woman who gets a phone call because her identical twin sister has gone missing on the other side of the world. She's walked into the Okakahara Forest, which is underneath Mount Fuji, which is a forest that is famous for people going in but not coming out. So Sarah, out of love for her sister, fearing that she, feeling that she is alive, but that she's in danger, travels to get her out. And once she gets into the forest, things start to go wrong quite quickly. Absolutely. And the forest depicted in the movie is real, the Okakahara Forest. And did you dare visit for research, or did you just research outside? I did indeed visit, uh, uh, dare to visit the Okakahara Forest for research. Uh, we had the joy of shooting for a week in Japan on this. And um, I went up with my driver, my Japanese driver, up to Okakahara. And it's a very um, sacred place to the Japanese. It's steeped in a lot of heritage and they have a lot of superstition and respect for the place. Um, really interesting history, and uh, we wandered along the hiking path. It's really incredibly beautiful, and the birds were singing. It was a beautiful day. But um, it was really interesting, actually, because I ventured off the path by only like five meters or so to take photos, and my Japanese driver did not want to leave the path. He wouldn't even step off like half a meter. So I found that really interesting and curious, and it went a, lot way, a long way to explaining the uh, the Japanese people's relationship with the place. Absolutely. And what were the toughest scenes to shoot physically? I think that one of the toughest scenes to shoot physically was um, falling through the sinkhole. And um, I was lowered on a harness, and then she's, uh, that's a moment when you, when Sarah lands and she hurts her ankle, and she's rolling around in that mud and that dirt with all the creepy crawlies, and there were a lot of creepy crawlies in that, in that earth. Um, but she's really traumatized by then, and um, so you see her kind of have a breakdown, a momentary breakdown. And we did quite a few takes of that, and it was pretty emotionally and physically trying, that scene. Yeah, I have so much respect and love for Taylor Kinney as an actor and as a human being. Um, he plays Aiden so well, the ambiguity of the character, because the audience and Sarah feel, do I trust him, do I not trust him, is he a good guy, is he a bad guy? And you sort of go back and forth on that quite a few times during the course of the movie. Why It's such um, very clever psychologically, the writing. And um, he's just a joy to work with, he's so natural. And there's a, there's a scene by a fire which I really enjoyed shooting with him, not least because we were by a fire and it was nice and warm because it's normally very cold in, in the forest at night when we were shooting. So we were huddled by a fire. And um, I really enjoyed that scene with him. You see um, a really great rapport between the two characters, which is very interesting for that quiet moment in the movie before the scares start again. Absolutely. And finally, what will audiences experience watching this movie? What do you think they'll take away from it? I think that audience, I hope that audiences get a little bit disturbed um, in thinking that this could really happen because there's such a naturalism to the movie. I think we can all imagine traveling halfway around the world to find a loved one who's missing and that we feel is in danger. And then I think we can all also identify with the idea that um, we all have our demons in history that we try and keep suppressed, but say something happens and you have to face your past and face your history. So I think most people can imagine themselves in this scenario. Um, and it's a smart horror movie. It's a thinking person's horror movie. It has these suspense thriller elements. Um, it has the bangs and the scare perfect for the new year after the festive um, anticlimax of uh, the merry holidays being over. So hopefully with the bang and the entertainment, but also it's a, it's a thinking film as well.